Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for being here. My name is Katie. If you did not know, now you do. And in today's video, this has been months, months planning this video. I also ignore my hair, I just got it done, which is why nothing else is done, just my hair. This video has been months in the making and I'm so, so excited because we are finally getting to it. This is Booktubers Choose What I Read Next. So essentially what I did was, is at the beginning of 2023, really early on, I reached out to multiple booktubers in hopes that some of them would respond and give me personal recommendations to read and make a video with. And at the end of it, we got four responses and I'm so, so excited. So we're going to go through it. I'm going to tell you who responded and then we're going to get into the video. So out of all the messages, I got four responses. Sarah Caroli, Faith Read Things, Alexa Ray, and books with JB. I hope that's her name. Let me look. Should I look? I shouldn't look. Should I look? I'm not trying to screw it up. And books with JB, Juliana. I really hope I'm pronouncing your name right, Juliana. I'm so sorry. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm a mess today. I'm so excited because they gave me some really baller recommendations. They were so, so good. And I cannot wait for you guys to see how it went. So the first person we had recommend a book to me, she responded the next day. Miss Girl was waiting in her DMs for someone to ask her for a book rec, and I love it. And that was Sarah Caroli, and she recommended to me Love Another Words by Christina Lauren. I feel like this is not surprising. Um, it's definitely a Sarah Caroli read. It was really good. I actually ended up annotating it, which I wasn't planning on doing, but I ended up doing it. I'm so glad I did because it's it's just so, I don't know, it's so cute and it kind of matches like the, the aesthetic. Um, we'll get into it at the end of the video, but there were a couple things about the book that I was like, mm, what's going on? But it was so, so good and I love it. Also, just so you guys know, this video is inspired by Allie Good, so go check out her video. Um, I did reach out to her, but she did not respond, so Allie, if you see this, send me your book recs and I will make another video reading your book recs because I love you. Hey guys, editing Katie here. Just letting you know, Allie Good did eventually respond. We got a response, so I'm just gonna do that book in another video. Anyways, let's get back to it. So next we had Faith Reads Things, Faith on Instagram and here on YouTube. And she recommended to me a book that I've had for a while already on my physical TBR. So I did not need to buy this at all because I already had it. And that is A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. So this one is like a YA murder mystery. And it's about this girl Pippa. She's, you know, exploring and investigating. And I really, really like this. This is actually... Before I became a romance girly, this was the type of book that I would pick up the most. I would not really read anything else. So I was very happy that she recommended it to me because I ended up loving it. It was so, so good. And it was a really great recommendation to get. It was actually the only YA like thriller that we had. All of the rest of them were romances. So, but Holly Jackson, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. That is what Faith recommended to me. And it was so, so good. Next, we had the one and the only Alexa Ray respond, and she recommended to me Archer's Voice. I went into this a little wary because I know she loves the book, but I was also aware of the fact that she cried a lot during the book, and she made that clear in a, a bunch of her videos that this book makes her cry. It's one of her all-time favorite books. It's by Mia Sheridan. I was nervous at first, you guys. I really, really was. I read the book, and I loved it. It was so good. I love this book. Next and final person to respond for the video was Books with JB on Instagram, and she recommended to me Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I was a little nervous going into this because it is a football romance, as you can see from, like, the cover. And I also got the special cover on Amazon because I don't like the people cover. I, I was nervous, like I said, going into this, but I really enjoyed it, and I really do think that it's a, a good book and that you guys should read it. So those are all the books that booktubers recommended to me. We're now going to cut to the scenes of me getting the books, reading the books. Let's get reading. So I came to Fred Meyer because the last time I was here, they had Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren for like 20% off, and of course, I didn't get it when I should have, and it was gone. So... We have to go to Barnes & Noble for all of our books, which I normally don't mind, but Barnes & Noble is a little more expensive. So let's get to a Barnes & Noble and get those books so we can start reading. Okay, 
So I got Love in Other Words. I could not find Archer's voice. It said it was in store, but due to my crippling anxiety, I was not about to ask. So I'm gonna have to come back another day and see if I can find it. We really only got two out of the three books we need. Um, so hopefully I can find it when I come back. I might come back later this weekend or I don't know, I'll figure that out. But I got Love in Other Words so I can officially start that one. I'm super bummed I couldn't find Archer's voice. So I'll update you guys if I can find it. If not, we'll just end up doing a different book. Okay, you guys, so I started Love and Other Words by Christina Warren. I just wanted to touch base with you guys really quickly. I'm on page 47. It looks like we're on a flashback to when Macy and um, Elliot met. So it's not like when they met, but it's like when they started becoming friends or whatever. So far, I'm really liking it. It's very cute. Um, I did start annotating it. I don't really know why I decided to do that. And also, I would like to make a correction in the video uh, here. We'll put it picture right here in that video i i got some books mixed up i got some plot lines mixed up so in that video i had this to say about love in other words have love in other words by christina lauren if i'm remembering correctly it's like a time loop story which they can be those those can be either be really really good or really really bad and so i kind of want to like see for myself because it's very groundhog day it's very very that episode of supernatural where he did the moment plays a thousand times and dean dies like every time and sam's trying to figure out why he's dying but like with romance and the holidays so it yeah that's um that's not the plot <laughs> so in that video i did get love in other words by christina lauren mixed up with in a holidays by christina lauren they're two different books just by the same author uh awkward anyways okay so, Love in Other Words is definitely more second chance romance, not time loop. Uh, it's about Macy and Elliot. Something happens in the past that breaks them apart, and then they reunite like 10, 15 years later. They basically just try to, I don't know, work things out, but she's engaged, she's planning a wedding. So, it's definitely giving second chance romance. I haven't read enough to get any more tropes in mind. There's a sentence here that I, I highlighted that I think is really cute. It said, it never occurred to me that love could be anything other than all consuming. It's really cute so far. I'm loving it. I, again, I'm not super far in. So I think we're going to read a little bit more and I'll come back when I have more to say. But so far, so good. And I really do just love the cover. Can we talk about how cute that is? Whoever designed this cover really just knew what they were doing. Because look how cute that is. We love it. So I've got my little annotation devices, my tabs. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys. So I just got to page 82 and I'm reading an email. It's a flashback email that Macy sent to Elliot about 14 years ago after he gave her the Bridge to Terabithia book. And I'm trying so hard not to cry oh my god like just the way she's talking about it it's just so sad and sarah why did you do this to me hi <laughs> okay so we're going on a road trip and i brought love another words with me i also brought a different one but we're gonna get into that later last we stopped was on page 163 and elliot is meeting macy's like friends and stuff and they're like all going on a picnic and Macy's fiance is there. And I feel like that's gonna be full of drama. What do you think? Drama? Yep. He said, yep. He does not give a shit about what I'm talking about. It's like an eight hour ish road trip because the roads are bad. So I hopefully will finish this book and get to starting uh, the other one. Just wanted to update you. Passenger princess situation over here. Not him though, he gets to drive. Damn right I do. Anyways, I will update you when there's something to update about. Okay. Goodbye. Okay, everyone, I don't have the book with me, but I finished Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I'm going to do like a full recap at the end of the video. All you need to know is, is I did rate it pretty high. Sarah Caroli, girl, you knew what you were doing. So next we are going to be doing Holly Jackson's 
a good girl's guide to murder this one i believe was recommended to me by faith reads things so faith i have faith oh my god i'm not even gonna say that joke sorry i hope it's good i've heard lots of good reviews so we are leaving anchorage now or soon i'm gonna read this on the drive i don't think i'll be able to finish it though just because i'm also gonna have to do some homework on the drive back so yeah i'm hoping it's good don't judge me this is delicious so i started a good girl's guide to murder i didn't read a whole lot on the road trip for some reason i just couldn't get into it i did read a little bit more since we last talked not a lot but a little i also took the the dust jacket off because i really look i am not a hardback girly i also realized when i was looking through some old memories for a tiktok that i've had this book since uh covid lockdown and i'm just not reading it so so yeah i just started reading it i'm not super far in right now pip is investigating first of all i love her name by the way pip is so pippa pip that is so cute but right now we're investigating the death or the disappearance of andy and she just started working with sal's brother to like kind of uncover what's going on and there's cat number one right here right here and then there's cat number two <laughs> anyways uh, hopefully that's not too distracting but that's where we're at so far with the book i haven't read a whole lot i had a i'm gonna need you to move girly pop but i'm almost 100 pages in like 89 90 pages in right now i'm hoping to finish this within the next couple of days because it is spring break right now so the plan is is i'm going to try to get this done before spring break is over i do have other work i have to do as well editing other videos to film what have you so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to wait and see but i will update you guys when there's something else to update and yeah I am currently on chapter 23, page 214 of A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. Y'all, this book? First of all, holy crap, is it intense. I'm loving the like little hint of subplot of romance between Ravi and Pippa. And we are learning a lot about Andy Bell. And it definitely gives me like Andy Bell's character is definitely giving Alison De Laurentiis from Pretty Little Liars. Other than that, the book is like in no way similar, I don't think. Other than the whole missing girl thing, it's kind of not similar at all. But Andy's character is definitely giving Allie from Pretty Little Liars. I'm starting to get hints. I don't want to spoil it, but there's a talk about drugs and then something that has to do with Andy's sister and I'm kind of starting to connect some dots in my head. And I'm loving Pippa. She's definitely giving me teenage girl version of like Spencer Reed almost. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I am. And I love her and Robbie together. I think they're so funny. I love her family. Like they're just so sweet and cute. Overall, I'm really loving the book so far. It's so far, it's like a five. Like I'm, this is also these type of books. These are my jam. These, I, before I read any romance books at all, I would read stuff like this and only stuff like this. So this is definitely getting a higher rating in my head right now. Hopefully it stays that way. But yeah, I'm really loving it so far. I want to say I'm about, I'm a little over halfway done now, it looks like. So I'm really amped. I might try to just finish it tonight. I'm not sure because I have some homework to do. So uh yeah but really loving it so far faith definitely knew what she was doing when she recommended this book i'm loving it it's so good and hopefully i can start um archer's voice soon and i'm super excited about that okay you guys so i just got home from work i finished a good girl's guide to murder it is officially done and let me just say that this book was so good that i had to stop at barnes and noble on my way home and get the second one it was that good. I 
loved it okay like i'm pretty sure i gave it a higher rating than love other words just like a point two five higher rating but now it is time to move on to my next book guys i don't even know if i can though because this was the only like ya murder mystery thriller book um, the rest of them are all romances, and I just, oh, now I'm just in the mood to read more books like this. But that book was so good, and I really think that that, I was in a bit of a slump while I've been filming this video. It's been taking me, like, months to film this video, and that book really helped me get out of a slump, and I don't know if going to a romance is gonna get me out of the slump. I don't know. I don't know. But, you guys, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, done. Faith. Girl, you knew what you were doing. That book was good. I loved it. But now it is time to move on from this book and start the next one. We are halfway through. We have two books left and I'm so excited. Okay, you guys. So I just thought I'd update you. Um, I'm already obsessed. I'm on page 88 and we finally see Bree and Archer start to actually talk to each other. Well, signed to each other um and they are insanely adorable are you kidding me um i did kind of like travis at first but now i'm just kind of not liking him after the little bar kind of thing and this book is a mixture of sad and beautiful and adorable so far um we're only getting like some sad tidbits of the hale family and brie and then we're getting like these adorable moments with Archer and Brie and that's kind of it. And I'm not mad at it and I'm literally, I, I still have this much to go. So there's plenty of time for me to change my mind. But so far, um, Archer is giving sexy lumberjack and I'm kind of here for it. I'm loving it. It's so good so far. I started annotating. I'm not doing the tabs this time, just the marker. I'm kind of just alternating between what feels right. I'm not using this one as much, though, just because it started bleeding through the pages a little bit, and that was getting annoying. But I've only been reading this for, like, an hour or two, and I'm already 88 pages in. So I'm probably going to finish this book really quickly. I feel like I was worried for a while going from A Good Girl's Guide to Murder to this that it would put me back in a slump of sorts because I just... I. I really do think A Good Girl's Guide to Murder was getting me out of my slump. But now I'm kind of thinking that this is, it's not going to put me back in. And I'm loving that. And I will update you guys uh, when there's something to update you about. voice two seconds ago alexa <sighs> i'm unwell my head hurts from um sobbing because i sobbed like a baby i don't even have words i just wish my husband was here so i could hold him tight and never let him go because oh my god if you have the opportunity to read archer's voice please do it please and for the people that are out there making book talk books into movies, do not touch this book. Do not touch this book. Because my heart wouldn't be able to bear it if you ruined my new favorite book. I'll come back when I can formulate any other thoughts than, oh my god, my sweet silent archer. I'm sitting here now just wondering, how am I supposed to go on with my life? Okay, you guys. So I needed like a day to recover from Archer's voice because, oh my gosh. But I started Say You Swear by Megan Brandy, recommended to me by Books with JB Juliana. I am about 132 pages in. I'm on chapter, what chapter am I on? 14, I'm on chapter 14, that's where I um ended. And this book, first of all, it's got like 500 something pages. This is a long ass romance, which I'm here for. 
it's a love triangle which i love most of the time sometimes i love triangles are iffy for me at first you were really thinking it's got to be this one guy but then the other guy comes in and then the one guy like the first guy is kind of like a dick and i'm really rooting for the second guy at first i was like ooh, the first guy but now it's just like second guy all around i will say that the beginning i feel like i feel like for me i had to get through the first couple chapters for me to really be interested in it just because I feel like the first couple chapters it kind of like dumps a lot of information on you you get like a lot of characters at once you get a lot of like weird family dynamics that you have to like try to remember at once almost feel like you need a graph to like remember who's related to who and in what way the friends are all very flirty with each other minus the twins obviously but I don't know it kind of threw me for a loop because at first I thought two of these people two people in here were dating and then it turns out they're just really close friends but she like kissed him on the mouth and I was like what <laughs> right now Ariana's kind of like dealing with the aftermath of something that happened right before they left for um like a couple weeks before they left for their campus their school campus and there's a lot left in this book clearly so obviously some crazy shit is gonna go down but so far it's good the writing style was a little weird for me at first i still struggle with it a couple times and i think the other problem for me is that in the beginning you get so much happening at once you don't really ease into it you get a lot of characters at once that you have to remember and there's just a lot going on uh but other than that it's not bad it does have some dual pov so far it's only between two characters the two two of the three people that are in the love triangle i'm trying to like not spoil anything and yes i did splurge splurge and i bought the exclusive cover off amazon because i don't like covers with real people on them this is the last book i have to read for this video you guys i'm so excited i'm thinking i'll be able to finish it by the latest event of next week so so far so good a couple qualms so far if i had to rate it right now it would be like a three star which on my book is still pretty good if you want to see the exact layout of how i rate books you can go check out my goodreads but that's so far i'm only 132 pages in and this pa this book has like 538 pages i think yeah 538 which is a lot of pages <laughs> so i'm nowhere near done but yeah so uh, I'm gonna go take my break and then I'll be back. Okay, so I don't think I mentioned it before, but the love triangle is between Noah, Chase, and Ariana. And Chase is like the childhood crush kind of thing. And Noah is like the hot guy in college, like older, you know, really cool. And right now in the story, Ariana and Noah are getting really close. They're really cute. I love them. And Chase is being a total fucking dick. Um, I just wanted to pop in and say that because he's annoying the shit out of me. Okay, bye. So everyone, I finished Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. I apologize for not taking a lot of clips while I was reading. I ended up finishing this in like one night. I read from like, 5 6 p.m all the way to 5 a.m and i took like an hour break to do homework so i kind of devoured this like super quickly which i'm very happy about because the first like i want to say five ish chapters i could not for some reason get into it i was having a really difficult time just like i don't know understanding maybe i don't know and I love this little bit, like the, the picture, but it was definitely, I've never seen that before in a book, so it was really throwing me off. But I finished it. Uh, it ended how I wanted to. There was like, th this thickness makes sense because there was like 10 different plot twists and I loved each of them for the, for the most part. The one towards the end, oh, and then Chase trying to be like, oh, is this my time to shine? No, sweetie, it's not your time to shine sorry i hated him he was trying to i almost felt like he was trying to like take advantage and his reasoning for a lot of the stuff he did was really stupid but i love noah and it's just i don't know it was really great i feel like it's a solid like good read especially if you if you're looking for a cute romance i don't know yeah it was just it was really good and i i think it's worth the read i just think that 
you know, keep in mind when you're reading it that the first couple chapters might they threw me off I don't know if they're gonna throw you off but they threw me off and I guess that's one thing to keep in mind I wouldn't say it's like a deal breaker for me though because obviously I finished the book in a day like I read this faster than I read Archer's voice and this is 500 something pages oh god Jesus But once it got started, it really got started, and it was really, really good, and I do recommend reading this. Juliana, this was a really, really good book to recommend to me. Yeah, so now we are going to take a look at every book I read and what I rated them. So you guys, that is it for today's video. I am so excited that this video is done and that I finally did it, and a lot of these books actually got me out of a slump which is so nice. I'm so happy about that. So now it's time for the final rating of the books that I read. Coming in hot, we're starting with Sarah Caroli. This book I recommended like a 4.75 just because I kind of, the plot twist was like, I, I wasn't a fan, but the book is so good and I loved it. I did 4.75 but on Goodreads because we don't have 0.75 or 0.5. I did round up to 5 because it was a higher 4. But I definitely loved the writing style. I loved the characters. I really, really enjoyed this book. It was definitely a great book to start with and I, I would recommend it to anyone. So next we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. This one I believe that I rated it 5 stars. I had no reason to not. It was just so good. It was probably one of my, it's probably one of my new um, YA thriller favorites. And after I read the book, I did go out and bought the rest of the series. I have heard whispers that the rest of the series is not as good, but it's still like four star. So I cannot wait to read the rest of it and figure that out myself. But yes, I did read this five stars. It was so good. I really enjoyed it. And if you're looking for a good book with lots of twists and turns and things you're not expecting and a really just a book to kind of leave you guessing what's going to happen next, this book was so, so good. And I do recommend it completely. And Ravi and Pippa were so cute and I love them. And the book is just so good. And the ending was so unexpected. It was great. I loved it. It was super good. So next, 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 we have Archer's Voice, which I rated a unsurprisingly five star rating. Are we shocked that I gave this book five stars? No, we are not. It was so good. I think if I'm going to be completely honest, out of all of the books in the entire video, it was my favorite. It did make me cry, as you saw in the clips, but I seriously enjoyed this book and the story was beautiful and I love Archer. He's so cute and I love that at the end of the the, the um, book he gets his happy ending. I think really the only problem I had with the book is I hated Travis's character but you're supposed to. That was it. That was the only problem I had with the book was I hated Travis. So as you can see I did annotate the book. I didn't use tabs this time because I didn't want to, I don't know, I didn't feel like it. I don't know. Um, but that book was so so good and five stars all across the board for that book. Um, it's definitely one of my new favorite books and I a thousand percent recommend that you read it. It's, it's beautiful. It really is. So the last book in this video, we have Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This one I rated a 4.5, but I think on Goodreads, I just rounded down to a four. And the only, like the main reason why is A, I hated Chase. Like he's supposed to be part of the love triangle, but he sucks. He sucks so bad and you just hate him. And it also took me a while to get into the book. Um, I don't think I was really like into it, into it until like five chapters in. And while that could have been reader error, um, because I did go straight from Archer's voice to this, I really didn't give myself any time. I, 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 I brought it down a little because of that. But Noah is, oh, I love him. This book also had like a lot of plot twists and they were kind of towards the end. So you were kind of like, what the heck? But a good chunk of the book, and it's a big book, a good chunk of the book is Noah and Ariana and their cute little romance and, you know, Chase trying to be like, can I come in? No, you cannot come in because you suck. And the other problem I did have is, I, I don't know if I mentioned this before, is Mason's character, her twin brother. He was just, he was protective and sweet and cute and I loved it. I didn't really love just how much of it though. Like, somebody breathed in her direction, I'm gonna fucking kill you. It's like, dude, shut up. She's grown. 
you can you can sleep around but she can't wear double standard much but other than that the book was super good it is another one that i would definitely recommend um i ended up devouring that book in like 10 hours so it was that good once it started going and i definitely recommend it definitely there's some moments where you, you might be tearing up a little bit i did so maybe bring some tissues if you read any of these books because a couple of them you're gonna need some tissues cough archer's voice cough a good girl's guide to murder if you read a good girl's guide to murder by the way beware of chapter 35 and 36 because those chapters they will hurt you they will hurt you so bad your heart will break so that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and thank you to sarah and faith and juliana and alexa Thank you for so much for responding and for giving me these book recs. It means the world to me. It was so sweet. You didn't have to, but you did. And I really appreciate it. And you guys gave me great recs. And I'm, I'm just happy that these books, A, are off my physical TBR. And B, that I enjoyed them. And C, that these really got me out of my slump. So if you need some good books to get you out of a slump, these books are it. They were so good. And yeah, I don't know. I This video just really brought me back up to where I needed to be um, out of a slump wise. I really enjoyed them and I, other than minor things, I, I don't really have much negative things to say about these books. They were all very good. And if you wanna see me anywhere else on the internet, you can also check out the links down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any video recs, let me know. I'm down, I wanna hear them. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one.